going on guys? Today we're going to be working on my 2003 Jeep TJ and we're going to be moving a broken piece of axle shaft. So over the weekend I broke a driver rear axle shaft for reasons I will not disclose because they were not the smartest on my part. So currently I'm at my last resort. I've tried everything to get this little piece of axle shaft out. I've tried magnets, tried to hammer it from the other side around the pin. I've tried to make a couple tools. Those have all broke or failed. So finally I've actually decided to knock this pin out as far as you can make it. It hits the ring gear. So then you cut a half inch, knock it out another half inch, cut it. I do that about six or seven times. Once the pin was far enough out of the way, I was finally able to get access to the other side through the passenger side. As you can see, you can go, you can see all the way through because I already knocked the piece out, but took a metal piece of rod and fed it all the way to the center and to smash it real hard with about a five pound hammer. Not the most conventional way, but I was out of options. This is the only option that I really had. So we re get this rear end. We made the tolerance just really tight, so pulling out the diff is actually pretty hard. Um, the best way to do it is get a case spreader, but I don't have one, so we're going to make one. Shouldn't have done that, because now I lost some parts. case spreader that I made, two blocks of wood, a seven ton jaw puller, and it's actually working. of axle shaft I actually took out the carrier and the bearing thankfully the uh, diff housing is all right bearing surfaces are fine a little bit of metal chips everywhere but that can be cleaned up easily so we got the diff all cleaned up all the new bearings pressed on the new housing and the gears and locker installed and we are ready to drop it in
figured it was time for an upgrade. Decided to go with 10 Factories 4140 chromoly shafts. Stock Dana 44 shafts ended up holding up for a long time. When I had 33s and stock gearing, this year I stepped up to 35s and 488s and dual lockers. So definitely find the weak links. So the rear housing is in. We got the bearings, the seals, retainer plate all pressed on the new axles. The only thing I have left to do before these are ready to drop in is to press on the new studs. It does help to put a little bit of grease on the splines and then in the hole itself. Five down, five to go. wrap the video up right there these 10 factory axles seem to be working there's no clinking clunking no binding can't wait to take it into the woods and put it to the true test thank you guys for watching see you in the next one but you let me see